Hi, my name is Chris Teitzel, and I'm here uh, to keynote tomorrow as well as uh, talk on security today. And uh, yeah, it's been been a very fun trip to come over and, and get to be with the European community again. I love, 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 love coming over from the U.S. Um, and getting a different perspective uh, as well as catching up with old friends. So uh, this is actually my first Drupal Camp London, and I'm very, all, I mean, already impressed uh, with how well it's been run and how smooth everything's gone. But really in the depth of conversation, I've had deeper conversation um, today and this morning already than I have uh, in, in many other conferences and, and ranging from a wide range of topics, technical and not. I think that it, it is attracting a certain group of people um, that are, are thinking deep about a lot of the topics and issues that we deal with in the community. So within Drupal specifically, um, we're seeing more and more that as Drupal is getting used in enterprise scenarios and enterprise situations, that there is a higher level of data security that's necessary. Obviously, we're um, coming up on GDPR, which is going to be very important um, for compliance and regulatory reasons. But in addition, we're seeing uh, the necessary need to protect business secrets because there are more and more larger enterprises that are bringing their environments uh, and their data into the Drupal environment. And so because of that, um, encryption, strong encryption is necessary. We're, that's what we do at Locker is, is provide the ability for uh, strong encryption to be uh, accessible and, and easy to use in, inside of Drupal. So obviously we're seeing that as a trend. Um, in the larger scheme of things, we're also looking at how does uh, the connected world um, interact with Drupal. And so now, I mean, it's pretty crazy, but you can talk to your Amazon Echo and have it interact with the Drupal site. Uh, you've all of a sudden opened up a completely new vector for attacks that could occur uh, to your Drupal site. So, um, so we're seeing you know, Drupal being used as a data hub and the necessary precautions around protecting that data, but then also being that data hub, how does it interact with all the different environments and open up new um, and kind of novel ways of, of uh, attacking Drupal. Meaningful, 